a good morning everyone so recall that in the last class we were discussing this problem and you can see that this board is not very easy to handle uh, till here to here it's obvious because if you see this row and if you see this square then there is nothing in the same row and same square and these two square need to be clubbed together so we club them together and then we put them here and it means the remaining six squares which are here should be in the same board now in the last class we discussed about something like this which is very difficult to make but we don't have to make something like this by making so many arrangements what you can do is that you can simply swap m3 and m4 so if you swap m3 and m4 then your board would be something like this and then you have here and then you have here yes again you can see that none of the part is disjoint because if you pick any square then in the same row or column there is the another square and that's why you can start from this board now for this board also if you try to compute if you call it b1 so if you try to compute rx b1 just for the understanding you can give some numbers to the square so now 1 plus 6x 6, 6 square is there now 2 squares at a time so if you start with 1 then you cannot consider 2 and 5 but you can consider all three of them so you can consider 1 3 1 4 and 1 6 if you start with 2 then 1 cannot be considered 6 cannot be considered so 2 5 2 3 and 2 4 can be considered if you start with 3 1 2 are already gone so 3 5 and 3 6 because 4 cannot be considered if you start with 4 then you can go with 4 6 and last is 5 6 so these are the 10 numbers similarly if you have to take 3 at a time then you can consider you cannot consider when you start with 1 so you can consider 1 6 3 1 6 4 then 2 3 5 and 3 5 6 it means 4x square and for the remaining board the calculations are quite easy so you can match we got this calculation and rest we have discussed in the last class now if you see this board or there could be the larger boards which cannot be break into the disjoint boards and if we try to find the rxb then it's very complex the competition is quite high that's why we'll see the another method so what we do is that we will consider the two cases depending on whether a certain square x certain square s is one of the squares chosen from the k rooks yes for example let's say i, I consider the square s now square x can be the chosen rook cannot be the chosen rook yes if it cannot be the chosen rook then your remaining board would be like this if it is the chosen rook then you cannot consider any other rook from the remaining from the same row and column so therefore the remaining board would be something like this yes so based on this we call bs to be the board which is obtained by deleting square s and bs star be the board which is deleting by square s plus the squares in the same row and column so these are the two boards we get now what we need is rxb but before rxb if we think of rkb then what is rkb you put k rooks on board b this is board b if you split into the two cases then bs then you put k rooks on board bs and in the other case you put k minus one rook because s is already there on bs star now if you have to compute rxb then you multiply 
x raised to the power k on both the sides and sorry yeah now here if you take x outside then it becomes x and then r h b s star and x raised to the power h where h is starting from 0 because here k is starting from 1 you cannot consider k is starting from 0 because r minus 1 is not defined it means that your r x b left hand side is r x b it is equal to this side is r x b s and this side is x and r x b s star so this is your rxb yes now if i have to compute rxb for this example then my rxbs so these two boards are disjoint and therefore it would be 1 plus 2x and 1 plus 3x plus x 1 plus x again these two boards are disjoint and 1 plus 2x once i have rxb then I can compute the number of the permissible arrangements. So this is the theorem we discuss. Let's see one more quick question. So we have this given board where it is already made up of two disjoint boards. I can call it B1 and if this is B2 then it is Rx B2 is 1 plus X. S is already given. It means I have to split the board B1 into two boards it can be easily splitted like this for the first board there are two disjoint boards are there so 1 plus 3x plus x square whole square plus x 1 plus 2x whole square is my rxp yes so this is very easy computation let's try and when I have to compute Rxb, I have to multiply by 1 plus x because there was one disjoint square was there. Let's try this question and make it bold. Now when you see the board, then again it's not very easy to handle. It looks like something like this. Now if you see this board, then there is an issue that this square is somewhere not disjoint but it is not part of the board as well if we see the board as a complete board it means that if I interchange row B and C then I will have the following board and from this board if I choose this one S S can be chosen as any of the square just for my convenience I choose this as S and then the calculations are quite easy so for the calculation when I choose this then in one case I just delete S so this gives me this square and this part and in the other case when I delete this row and this row then I have only two squares here and four squares here so now for this part if I write down then it is 1 plus 4x plus 2x square and for this part 1 plus 5x and then you can see that this is 1 this is 2 then this can be clubbed with this one 3 and so if I give the number so I can make 1 3 1 5 then 2 can only go with 5 so 2 5 3 can go with 4 as well as 5 so 3 4 and 3 5 then 4 is already covered 5 is already covered so 1 2 3 4 5 yes plus x times 1 plus 2x and 1 plus 4x plus this would be 1 2 and 3 
here we can also see that we have missed because there are three rows and three columns so one three five is also possible one three and five now it's just the calculation so if you calculate it then you will get the root polynomial as so as i told you 1 plus 4x plus 2x square 1 plus 5x plus 5x square plus x cube this x cube is here and the rest is simple okay now one quick observation is if you see this board then you can also solve it by considering this as s because if you consider this s then again it will very smoothly split into the two disjoint boards but there would be a little bit more calculations so if you consider it as s then one board would be 1 2 3 4 5 and then this one and plus x times you delete this row and this row so there would be this one this one then there is a gap then this one and then this one yes for this part again there are two disjoint boards this one and this one so you can write 1 plus 5x plus 4x square it's simple and 1 plus 4x plus 3x square plus x now if you see these two crosses, 2, 2, then they are in the same row and column, they are not disjoint. It means I have to shift it here and it can be transformed into this board and then the calculations are easy. So 1 plus 4x plus 2x square, then for this one it is 1 plus x and for again this one 1 plus x. If you solve it, then you will realize that you are getting the same RXP as we obtained. So that's all from today's class. Thank you very much.